New York Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones has threatened to sue the NFL over a proposed contract extension for Commissioner Roger Goodell, a dispute apparently sparked by star running back Ezekiel Elliott's six-game suspension over alleged domestic violence. A person with knowledge of the situation told the Associated Press on Wednesday, Jones told the six owners on the compensation committee he had hired high-profile attorney David Boys and was prepared to sue if the group voted to extend Goodell's deal, the person told the AP. The person spoke on condition of anonymity because no one has been authorized to reveal details. Jones also has expressed disapproval with the structure and compensation in the contract extension. Another person familiar with the proposed lawsuit says that person also spoke on condition of anonymity for the same reason. The actions of Jones were first reported by the New York Times. All 32 owners voted in May to extend Goodell's contract and authorized the compensation committee to work out the details. Goodell suspended Elliott in August after a year-long NFL investigation. Prosecutors in Ohio declined to pursue the domestic violence case. Jones, who is not on the compensation committee but is one of the most powerful owners in the league, has expressed frustration over the NFL's pursuit of criminal matters with its own investigators. Asked on his radio show last week if he wanted Goodell to remain commissioner, Jones avoided a direct answer and said Elliott was a victim of an overcorrection because of the NFL's mishandling of former Baltimore running back Ray Rice's domestic case involving his then fiance C. Story. Cowboys Elliott Mum amid more legal limbo Frisco, Texas Ezekiel Elliott skipped his weekly media session Wednesday because of more legal limbo in the star Dallas Cowboys running back's fight over the NFL's six-game suspension on alleged domestic violence. The difference this week is that Elliott, the NFL's second-leading rusher, was with his teammates. That WASNT the case early last week when the 22-year-old was suspended until Friday after a judge rejected his request for a second injunction. The third legal reprieve came in an emergency stay two days before the Cowboys beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Now Elliott seeks a longer-lasting injunction from a three-judge panel that will hear his case Thursday in New York. A ruling could come before Sunday, when Dallas 53, on a three-game winning streak with significant contributions from Elliott, visits defending NFC champion Atlanta 44. Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones said on his radio show Wednesday he believed Elliott was planning to attend the hearing. If so, it will be with the blessing of coach Jason Garrett's C story. Giants McAdoo trying to stay positive amid criticism East Rutherford, NJ with many calling for wholesale changes on the New York Giants in the wake of a dismal half a season, a relaxed coach Ben McAdoo took a very positive approach with his team heading into this week, telling the players he still believes in them. McAdoo, who has been curt with the media in recent weeks as his team slipped to 17. He opened up a little and showed some personality in discussing this weekend's game against the winless 49ers in San Francisco. That was surprising with the Giants coming off a 5,117 loss to the Los Angeles Rams, the team's worst margin of defeat at home since a 373 defeat to Green Bay in 1998. It led many to label the players as quitters others called for the firing of general manager Jerry Reese and McAdoo, who last year led the Giants to the playoffs in his first season. Talked about let's begin again, McAdoo said after practice Wednesday. That was really the message for them. Don't buy into the lies the lies that your feelings are telling you. This thing is not about feelings. It's a decision and let's make the decision to begin again. We talked about, you know, you may think I'm a little bit out there, but I believe we have a run in us. I believe to the core we have a run in us. Vikings Bridgewater activated, Bradford put on IREDEN Prairie, Min. The Vikings' seemingly constant search for long-term success and stability at quarterback took another turn on Wednesday. Sam Bradford's future was cast in further doubt because of another knee surgery. And Teddy Bridgewater finally made his way back to the active roster from his devastating knee injury. Meanwhile, coach Mike Zimmer announced Case Keenum will make his seventh start of the season for the game at Washington on Sunday. Case has done great, Zimmer said. So we just keep going from there and see how this thing plays out. The Vikings 62 activated Bridgewater from the physically unable to perform list, adding him to the active roster for the first time in more than 14 months since his left knee was dislocated during practice. The freak injury resulted in ligament tears and an ambulance ride to the emergency room to save his leg. The Vikings faced a deadline on Wednesday at the end of the three-week window that opened when Bridgewater resumed practice with the team. To make room on the 53-man roster, Bradford was placed on injured reserve after having arthroscopic surgery the day before on his left knee, which had a CL tears in 2013 and 2014 C-story. 
Packers tight end Martellus Bennett waved Green Bay, Wiss. The Green Bay Packers have waved Martellus Bennett, bringing the tight end's short tenure at Lambeau Field to a surprising end. General Manager Ted Thompson announced the move on Wednesday after practice. The Packers cited a failure to disclose a physical condition for making the move. Bennett practiced on Tuesday after the bye last week before going on the injury report with a shoulder injury. He did not play in the 3017 loss on Monday to the Detroit Lions after being listed as doubtful for the game. Bennett also posted on Instagram during the bye week a message that indicated he was thinking about retirement. After conversations with my family I'm pretty sure these next eight games will be the conclusion of my NFL career, he wrote. To everyone who has poured themselves and time into my life and career, these next games are for you. Thank you C-Story.